Welcome, young scientists. Today, we're going to embark on a colorful adventure to discover the magic of rainbows. Have you ever looked up at the sky after it rains and seen a beautiful arc of colors stretching across the sky? That's a rainbow. But have you ever wondered how it appears? Let's find out together. First, let's talk about sunlight. Sunlight might look white, but it's actually made up of many different colors. When sunlight passes through something like a glass prism or a droplet of water, it bends or refracts and separates into all those different colors. Isn't that amazing? Now imagine it's raining. When raindrops fall from the sky, they act like tiny little prisms. When sunlight passes through these raindrops, it bends and separates into its different colors, just like it does with a prism. Each raindrop bends the light and sends it back to us in different directions. Here comes the fun part. When you look at a rainbow, you're actually seeing the light that's been bent or refracted by millions of raindrops in the air. The sunlight enters a raindrop, bends, reflects off the inside surface of the drop, and then exits the drop, creating a beautiful spectrum of colors. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? It's like magic. There are seven colors in a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Remembering them is easy if you use the acronym ROYGBIV. But wait, there's more. Have you ever noticed that rainbows always appear in the sky opposite the sun? That's because the sunlight is being bent and reflected back to us from the raindrops on the opposite side of the sky. Now, here's a cool fact. Sometimes if you're lucky, you might see a double rainbow. A double rainbow happens when sunlight is reflected inside a raindrop, not just once, but twice, creating a second, fainter rainbow above the first one. It's like seeing two magical arcs of colors in the sky. So, the next time you see a rainbow after it rains, remember that it's nature's way of showing us how beautiful and colorful our world can be. Keep exploring, young scientists, and never stop marveling at the wonders of nature.